short game. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Gotta do an unboxing here. Oh jeez. I already I already got into the box. My bad. <laughs> Alright, what's cracking all you party playing with piaches? Alright, so today we're gonna be changing out these uh these Amazon specials that have turned green. They're a little gross. I probably had them on there for a couple years now. We're gonna be changing them out. To these new Shekche headlights. Oh God, yes. The LED strip in them. Oh yeah. I'll put the link down in the description for where these came from. Are these the same ones? No. Two different sides, but you get the point. Mm -hmm. That is the right side, isn't it? No. Oh wait, well, that's okay, like never mind. Different side. Let me get the right one. It's gonna look like that. Oh god, yes. So it's gonna replace there's not gonna be a light in this one. And we gotta tie them in. These seem like a lot way better quality than these. These were off Amazon. Amazon specials. I got these in the tail lights for like 150. These were like Two, two something. Two thirty. Two thirty. We'll get these thrown out. We're gonna show you how to take these out because these are a pain in the pain in the rear. So we're gonna get these out first. Show you how to do that, and then we'll get into putting these puppies in, boy. So Clayton's here to help us. So, so. matching me. Right. With eight millimeter, you gotta take this uh for the air filter. Lauren's already taking these screws out. I believe taking the batteries out makes it easier, but I don't know if I'm gonna bother taking them out. So, he calls it trusty dusty, we call it rusty dusty. Oh, rusty dusty. So to get the emission headlights out, it's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts. If you get one of these mini small ratchets with a small, like, Deep socket. Deep socket. Mm. There's one right here, you can feel it. And then the other one is back over here, which I know that doesn't mean crap because you can't see it, <laughs> but they're back there. You gotta get your hand down in here. Just take them off. So then you gotta make sure you don't drop it because I've dropped one of these and you never hear it hit the ground. Got some battle scars. We got these two out. That one didn't want to come out as rusty. But now, I thought it did the top, it does the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. So I'll show you on this. Yeah, that's why it didn't come out. It didn't want to come out. So it was these two. We gotta, so we gotta take this apart and put the new, the new headlight parts in this. We'll get to that. We got it made up. We have to put the figure out where these wires go. They didn't send any instructions on where these go. So we're assuming that it's just gonna go with the running lights. Somehow tie it in. Won't look a little better. Alright, we're gonna get the wired up, put the big one in. I have a formal complaint against these. See this right here? So you feel still? See this right here? They send it on backwards. This is how it's supposed to be. Because when it goes through the hole, 
you put the clip on the back side. They don't send them like that. They send them like this. So you have to take it off and flip it around. So now we got the, the main piece put in and it's got three clips. One, two, three down there. The third one has the adjuster. And you adjust your headlights. That was the one they put on backwards. So one, they don't send instructions on how to wire this. So you got to figure that out Two, They put that on backwards because they build these. I think they take these headlights and they build them like in house, but it's been a pain so far. So it comes with this, which they don't give any instructions on this. I believe this is a resistor. It comes with a plug, and then an amber bulb, incandescent. So you plug it into your turn signal one like that. And then this becomes your turn signal right there. And then what I'm going to do, it's the best I can figure, is to tie the white and the black from the top headlight and the bottom one to the side marker that's being replaced. So I'm just going to splice it. And then these will come on with these side markers. And then this one here will be the turn signal the amber one all right so we finally think we got everything figured out i put a new bulb in this one and we got these i know it's shaped like an l it's for a loser you don't know what you're talking about bro you don't know what you're talking about shout out to lauren picking these up for me get you girls gonna buy your headlights now we're splicing the uh the led strips like that you can check them. Just crush it. And you can check it. See they're all made up. Boom. Let's go shove that back down there, boy. So after about five hours of messing with this, we came and finished one side. And I was debating on returning these. I was going to return them because, well, these things suck. But apparently they take out a 30% restock fee on them. So we'd only be getting back $160. So I guess I'm stuck with them. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, These are clean, man. So the whole basketball hoop rotted off at the ground. I just noticed this. This is where it hit. The backboard hit. It could have really messed up the horse truck. So there's one right there. It marked up on the mirror. There's one more right there. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 